Hello and welcome to another edition of Behind the Lens Video Style. This mix number five. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Taking a look and a peek at our six minutes every week. With all that, I've got three topics. Let's roll and once again, the hits continue and the fans continue to pile up. And we appreciate you stopping by. So let's get rolling. I got three topics. Topic number one, let's see if we can find it. It's kind of blowing. We're going to have to make do with what we got here. All right, here we go. Game capsules. I can't really show it to you, but anyway, it's the capsules for tonight's game. There they all are. Who plays who? Kind of gives you a, a rough gig on what's going to happen tonight in high school football in our little corner of the world. But today's topic is, is talking about knowing your opponent. Know your opponent. Well, every week we trade film with the opponent, so we get that. Coaches go and they break down that video and get ready for uh, next week's game. Try to figure out some tendencies of the team, what they like to do, what really hurts them, where you can work on them, where they're successful, where they're not so successful. You get the point. But when you know your opponent, as you as a football player, are you studying that as the game starts? Are you really watching your opponent? Did you get a chance to see any of the video yourself? Does a running back rub his hands together before he gets the ball? Does he put his hands always on his legs? What is it he's doing? Or before they go out to catch a pass, they're giving away one thing. It's up to you to figure out what that one little thing is that might give you a slight advantage over your opponent. You need to think about that. In the world of uh, restaurants and stuff, let's use a different concept. McDonald's, largest restaurant chain in the world. Their locations are in prime real estate, at the busiest intersections. They do a world of business. But at the end of the day, what are their weaknesses? Well, they can't get the food out the door. Terrible, 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 terrible. You wait forever. They don't give you any condiments. And we could probably go on and find some other things that they're just truly weak at. But they still get the business. Would they get a little more business if they straighten those other things out? Yeah, probably so. But that's their problem, not my problem. But uh, just pay attention to that as you go through. Knowing your opponent is very, uh, very important. So you think if other restaurants got the product out the door quicker and then use that as an advertising strategy against McDonald's, you think that would hurt them? I think it would, but who am I? I'm just the stork. Topic number two. Be a turtle. Be a turtle. Well, you're going to notice that here tonight. You'll notice it on Saturday. You'll notice it on Sunday. And even in kids youth football, there's always somebody getting on the field and they're running that trapper. I mean, they got that motor running from the time they get there to the time they get off the field. What are they talking about? You think that's really helping you win? In a way, they think it is because they think if they could get in your backyard and cause you to mentally break down, that's what they're trying to do. What you have to do is be a turtle. Don't worry about it because at the end of the day, it's not going to mean whether you win or lose. It could matter if you lose if you pay attention to all that gibberish. You never hear anybody after the game, well, the opponent came up to me and said something about the way I dress and therefore, or like my school, and I got real mad we won the game. It's hogwash. It ain't going to matter. You need to be a turtle. You need to think about it. Let it roll off your back. Be hard shell. Don't let that get to you. And don't start it. Because if you start it back, you stoke that fire, it's just going to continue to burn but if you leave it alone, it'll burn out. And by the second or third quarter, they'll quit. You put some points on them, you let your talking on the field do the production work, you'll do a lot better. That's enough of that. Tonight, 7.30, we take on the Seagull Stars. David Watson's team will be coming in here with their high-powered offense. Coach Chad Owens, I feel like he's ready in the blaze. So you join us here tonight. We'll be high above the press box. It doesn't seem like it's going to rain. So if you see us at the game, give us a shout. From a man who truly delivers, God bless, take care. 
Stark. 